let's look at property four of determinants and what this says is that uh, if any two rows or columns of a determinant are interchanged this word interchanged is important its value changes only by a minus sign so what this means is that let's say for example you have row 1 row 2 and row 3 if you interchange the value of row 1 with row 3 meaning thereby that row 3 becomes row 1 and row 1 becomes row 3 or it looks something like this that row 3 becomes row 1 8 1 7 right row 2 remains as it is and then you have 3 4 and 5 so you have basically interchanged row 1 with row 3 when I write this what may I mean is that row 1 is interchanged with row 3 so if any two rows or columns of determinant are interchanged or for example you could have actually interchanged columns whereby column 1 could have been interchanged with column 3 right uh, let's say for example we keep it like 5 8 7 4 6 1 3 2 8 this is formed by interchanging C1 and C3 what this says is that in either of these cases the only change that comes in the value of the determinant is the value actually changes by a minus sign so shall we do this let's do it now the value of the original determinant can be obtained by expanding let's say row 1 so you will get 3 times 6 times a 6 7 is a 42 minus 8 gives you 34 right 3 times 34 minus 4 times this rows goes this goes 7 2 is a 14 minus 64 gives you minus 50 plus 5 times 5 this goes this goes 2 times 1 gives you 2 minus 48 gives you minus 46 now since we've done enough number of practice I'm just doing it straight away so this gives you 102 plus 200 minus 230 right or in other words the value of the determinant comes to 72 we did a detailed calculation in the earlier one so I kind of just this didn't do that again now let's calculate the value of row 1 row 3 interchanged so you will again let's expand this through row 1 you get 8 times 6 5 is a 30 minus 8 4 is a 32 so 30 minus 32 minus 1 which is this so this goes 5 2 is a 10 minus 24 plus 7 times 7 so 4 2 is a 8 minus 18 right so 8 times minus 2 minus 16 minus 1 times minus 14 in other words this is only 14 plus 7 times minus 10 gives you 70 right so this will become actually minus 70 or in other words the value that we get is minus 72 now if you notice the value of this determinant vis-a-vis -vis this is only changed with a negative sign right so when we interchange row 1 with row 3 the value remains the same the sign of the value of the determinant changed now this same property should hold for the column as well shall we do that okay so we'll expand again with row 1 5 times 6 8 is a 48 minus 2 gives you 46 minus 4 8 8 is a 64 minus 14 gives you 50 plus 3 8 times 1 gives you 8 minus 42 gives you 8 minus 42 gives you minus 34 so you get 230 minus 200 minus 102 right or you get minus 72 which is again if you compare it with the original value which was 72 it's again only the sign has changed so this property which is that if any two rows or columns of determinant are interchanged so it's two rows which have been interchanged it's two columns 
its value changes only by a minus sign and that is what we have proved in this particular video.